Hey everyone, welcome to the Electric Supercar Channel. We are going to start right where we left off last week by finishing up the interior. Let's get to it. This week I want to finish up a few things on the interior. One other thing I'm going to fix, the I'll call that the driver's footwell compartment. It goes underneath this center console and on the passenger side it it does not. There's like it, that that panel just needed to extend by by a few inches. So I will do that as well. This section here was not tucking under there, and so I actually ended up uh, fiberglassing on just a little piece so I'd have enough kind of purchase. So if I tucked it under, it'd stay under. So that's there. Um, I've got this fastened. Get all my center console wires in, and then fasten my center console. All right, so trim this up so it's fitting better. Um, I think this is how we'll leave it. Again, we do need to rewrap this and likely that, but I'm gonna make sure things like seats and other things fit first before I rewrap. We got this one, uh, all the vinyl taken off, had a lot of adhesive residue, so I've got that removed. And actually the adhesive residue kind of pulled some chunks out, just kind of two places. So some quick filler, we'll kind of sand it and then we'll reapply all the vinyl. I got this all wrapped again. Took quite a while to uh, get all the adhesive off first, um, but then just kind of rewrapped it again. A lot easier kind of knowing where I needed to cut and things. So the seams I have like here are pretty good. I don't think I'll need anything, but kind of these seams up here are pretty proud. And I've got this seam material that'll just kind of cover that up. So my thought is I'll just kind of put it up here and then I'll have it fold around and then come back down here. got the sound deadening in and put the carpet on so both sides are ready to go um, I've got my rear panel there wrapped so we'll go ahead and put it in place and start locking things down we have the wrapped panel back in place um, things fit pretty good um, we still need to kind of touch up the spots there where the fabric kind of tore one other thing I'm going to do, they did not provide any carpet for this, obviously the seat goes over that, but even with the seat there you can kind of just still see little reflective corners which I don't love. So I'll probably just put a piece of kind of this black vinyl down just over that, kind of on both sides. I put that seam material in, I think it looks really good. If you remember, I'll show you on this side, we had uh, kind of where the two pieces of fabric met, um, it was easiest to just kind of have a seam there. And then with the seam material, I think it just looks really sharp. So I got that side done, I will do on this side. I did the passenger side as well. I think it looks really sharp. Okay, so I'm gonna be looking at the uh, glove box. So it almost looks good, right? Um, it is not attached at all. It's just kind of held because it's just a tiny bit tight. So again, it can kind of come open. Um, but I think that works okay. So here's what I'm dealing with though. The back is, I'll say it kind of goes down, but it doesn't come back up. So there's this huge gap in the back. And there's, again, there's no hinge or anything planned for that. 
and the latch this is what was planned one of these kind of latches so this one's I think this one might be doable again it planned to have the latch up top that you'd lift up this top one I think I'm gonna have it be over here so you latch it and it'll go down and I've got these old hinges that I tried to use for the trunk that I might try and repurpose here kind of underneath to have this hinge down so I think the first thing though I've got to I'll say remake or add material to to the bottom of this guy so it's got to go back and around and I, I want it a little bit wider here it actually kind of goes back in so I just want it to go out straight so I think that's first and then after that we'll look at uh, mounting hinges as well as the lock okay so I have a plan and it involves unwrapping so I got to unwrap this I'm cutting out some uh, cardboard templates and we'll see how to make this okay this is the bottom of the glove box and um, in order to make it like a glove box it needed sides so it had this kind of underneath part but it didn't really have sides if you put anything in there they could fall out the sides so put the sides on um, the other thing is it needed a I'll call it a back same thing if you put it there things could fall out the back so sides and back I cut these out of cardboard hot glued them in place just kind of do a test fit and so now I got a uh, kind of a piece of wood here and I'll trace those cardboard cutouts onto this piece of wood and I'll use that to kind of laminate uh, fiberglass this all together. Okay, let me break this down for you. What I'm gonna do is I will take these kind of cardboard cutouts off one at a time, trace them onto my plywood and kind of make sure they fit. Probably even use the hot glue again just to kind of make sure everything's right like we like it. And then once the one piece is done, we'll kind of do the next and the next and the next. So once they're all in place, um, we'll use that as kind of the structure to lay some fiberglass on. And at that point, uh, we'll just have some kind of cleanup work. I will likely spray the inside with that rubberized undercoating and rewrap the outside. I've got my glove box here now made out of wood. Um, the original cardboard cutouts were a good start. They were a little bit flexible and more forgiving than the wood, so I kind of had to make a few trims and changes. But uh, this is kind of what we're going to go with. Um, this will be kind of the inner structure of the glove box, and I'm going to go ahead and put fiberglass inside and outside. Um, I won't do too many layers. This is not really structural, just a glove box. Okay, so I finally got this thing uh, ready. So it's unwrapped and I've got the uh, kind of the wood pieces on. So this will drop down. One of the last things I need to do is figure out the hinge location in the back. Oh, one other thing. I need to figure out the lock location as well. So for the latch here, I figure um, just aesthetically I should put it in the center and then it's gotta be pretty much as close to the top as you can get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill and see if we can make this work. Okay, I mounted the hinge. I've been crawling in and out of the cavern, the footwell of the passenger compartment. And so I've got this all dialed in and I think this will all work. So I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, wrapping this with fiberglass. All right, I'm uh, setting up for some fiberglass. I am going to do the inside first. And uh, after I kind of have the inside set up, I'm gonna trim some of the outside. We got just some overlaps and then the sharp corners the fiberglass doesn't like to go around that. So once I have the inside done, I'll kind of do some trimming and then I'll do the outside.
Okay, I got fiberglass kind of all around the edges and where I think I want it. So we'll let it set up, trim things off. And I think this front surface, maybe this surface will want to kind of have pretty smooth. So when the vinyl goes on, you'll be able to see it. Obviously we'll wrap probably all the way back, but uh, uh, like underneath, I don't know that you'll need it real smooth there. And then I think the sides and the interior will do the black rubberized undercoating. We got this wrapped, um, got the lock mechanism back in there, the latch, and got the insides kind of painted, outsides painted. So we're gonna go ahead and try and fit this in the car. Um, I kind of fit it once, but it always seems like when I really want it to fit, it won't. So we'll see how long this takes me. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of work under the dash, and that's gonna be a little hard to show you guys. So just trust me that I'm working under there. Okay, here is the glove box installed and the only thing I kind of still need to do is when I go down there's like no down limit, meaning it can just keep going. Um, the other potential problem, I don't know that you'd really want to open this if you're the passenger. I guess it's not too bad, um, but just, yeah, there's not a lot of clearance there. So I'll probably get some sort of a, I'll call it like a slide um, that will limit travel and I think that'll do it. I spent way too much time on the glove box, but I'm actually pretty pleased with how it turned out. So I'll go ahead and kind of do a couple cleanup items, put some trim in some places, put all my fasteners together, the little button caps, and I think that'll do it. That's all the time we have for this week. See you next week.